Hey everyone, Mark from Passive Profits. What you're looking at is a complete, a created landing page and funnel system that I created live with live countdown timer banners. If you guys want to see exactly how I built this, then you're going to want to watch the rest of the episode. In the episode, I go through some problems. I go through uh, some issues with the software. I'm working through it and you guys will see all that. And basically what this is, is this is step one to creating your passive income business because what you need is you need a constant flow of leads now as you all know we're going to be using follow unfollowbots.com for our lead system which this is the bot right here we're going to be going on instagram interacting with people and on instagram we're going to have call to actions that tell people heading to this page it will take them to this page they're going to see the countdown timers they're going to see the links they're going to see all that and once they click on all that they're going to be able to access essentially this free ebook now, what this ebook will do is it will allow us to gain leads. It will allow us to gain emails. Now, these emails, we could change them into a whole lot of money different ways. We could do affiliate marketing. We could sell off the email list. We could do a whole bunch of different things. Um, but more importantly, what we're doing here is we're learning how to create a passive income business. So this is step one. And this is the continuation of the original episode of Free Money Making Strategy Revealed is this is a money making strategy. Now, as you guys know, making money in this world is not easy, right? It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort. And what I'm showing you here is a sh surefire system. It's worked for not just me, but millions of other people. Um, and this system has been used way before I even existed, okay, on this earth and probably even before you. And basically what it is, it's referred to as a tripwire. And I spoke about this in the last episode. Okay, if you haven't seen the last episode, go ahead and watch it. But what you're looking at is the fruition of that. Now, if you're going to watch this video, it's going to show you step by step by step of exactly what I did and the issues that I went through to get this all done. And you guys could see here, it took no more than an hour. And to build an actual business in less than an hour is a blessing. So I recommend that everybody checks it out. Um, and, and, you know, I highly recommend that you do take advantage of not just be a watcher, but be a doer. Be somebody who takes advantage and sees actual results in their life and in their business. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's just roll the cue and uh, enjoy the video. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. What's up, everybody? Mark with Passive Profits. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but we're continuing now the series. Today's episode, I guess you could say, one of the free money-making strategy uh, here live, right? So if you haven't seen the first video, we made it four days ago, uh, the free money-making strategy revealed, where I basically went over the game plan behind the business. I, I kind of talked about how we're going to set it up, how we're going to configure the business, how we're going to set it up in a way that actually generates us profit. We don't want to have things where we're hoping for success. We want to have guarantees here. We want to know that when we do something and we accomplish a task, we get the right results back. So for those who haven't seen, go watch episode one. I go over the whole business plan behind it. And remember, if you don't have a business plan, that's kind of like planning to fail, right? If you don't plan for your business, you're planning to fail. So now let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you know, we're using the Instagram bot, follow and follow bots to fuel our success. But you guys are going to see that later down the line in the next few episodes, but so far, what we need to do is we need to create a funnel for our tripwire, as I spoke about, like I said, in the last video. So I'm going to be using Funnelizer Pro. You guys can use any funnel, funnel building software that you use. I'll be leaving the link in the description box for you guys to use Funnelizer Pro. But like I said, use whatever software you want to use. Excuse me. So I have my website here, my Passive Profits website. I'm just going to go over here, and the benefit of having a website like this is you can build funnels on top of it. So I'll hit this little funnels button here, create funnel. And what I'm going to be doing for my tripwire is I'm giving away a free ebook. Remember that the goal is to acquire leads, as many leads as possible, and build a large email list. And the bigger our email list is, the more money we make. Now, that's whether we sell affiliate products, that's whether we sell the email list off, or maybe we sell guest posts or something like that. Regardless of what situation it is, we're still going to be acquiring legitimate leads that are targeted for a very specific niche. So for us, this is an example, is that we need to uh, essentially get a lead magnet. So the way we do that is 
there's a button right here that says lead magnet. And what you're going to be doing is it's a very simple page where you're offering people to essentially for them to, you know, enter their email and they get the free book or the free, you know, video or the free course or the free t-shirt or whatever it is that's free. Remember, that's what a tripwire is. It's something that's of free, no or little value. So free or, you know, a cheap cheap cost amount that people are willing to enter their email and make the purchase or you know make the submission to receive that free item so what we're going to be doing is just taking a general look and to be honest i don't want something too complicated i want it actually kind of simple so the way i'm looking at these different things i could use this option right here this book magnet and i can use this right here so what i'll do is i'm going to preview because i'm really not sure what i want to go with real quick i'll look at both of them so this funnel here looks like a button once i click download now it's a little pop-up i think this is exactly what i want to go with actually so finally when they get to step three and they type in their information they'll be able to download all right now i can change step three where i can make it in a way where you know i'll tell them go to your inbox to download it so i can make sure 100 percent that i have their email and i don't want to waste any leads so i think i'm going to go with that i'm going to hit select here and i'm going to type in a funnel name now i can name this funnel anything um for the sake of this tutorial video i'm going to call it tutorial and let's hit save and just you know just fyi for everybody i already wrote um, you know, I already have the book. I didn't write it, but I have the book. Um, this is a book that I personally own. And when I say own, I mean, I have the rights to sell it and things like that. Make sure you have a book that you have, you know, the rights to work with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit edit image here and essentially edit the image. So I have, um, a whole bunch of different images here on my desktop. So I have a whole bunch of, So here, just uploading our image for our book, and we could either wait for it to load or we could just select the submission now, and it will load on its own time, which only takes a few seconds, uh, but we're going to see how it looks, and I want to see how this will look overall in a mobile view, but let's just go ahead and stay, save and s let's just reload the page here, okay, so this is our ebook. And let's hit phone view here. And we have a section here. So I want to make some changes to the mobile view. For me, I prefer the image to be on top, right, for the mobile view. So if I was to be able to drag this and move it over, and I think the only way that I could do that if I, if I switch the positions of the text. So for me, I'm just going to make some changes here. Instead of two columns, I'm going to make this one column. I'm going to reduce the size of the image significantly. So I'm going to do that by kind of going like this. I think I didn't do it properly, but maybe I'm making a mistake here. Let's go ahead and just delete the let's delete the image altogether. And like I said, we want to make this a little bit cleaner. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit add image here. So just drag and drop the image and obviously we have the image selected and what I'll do is I'm going to make this a little bit larger and I'm going to customize some of the text here. So what I want to do is first of all, uh, let's just kind of match the background colors here. So for background color, let's go with some sort of green, like a transparent kind of green here. And let's bring the opacity a little bit back. Maybe something like this. And honestly, if it was up to me, I think I would want to remove the background. So I'll be right back and I'm going to do some photo editing and remove this background. Alright, so I actually made some changes to the photo. So let's go ahead and go back here. I'm just going to drag and drop the right image. It should only take about a second, but... We'll select it. Notice how the background is transparent, so it does look a little bit better. Let's save our changes. Now, this is not going to be the full-on page. We want to make some, some changes. I want it to look just a little bit better here. Um, this gap, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really liking it. 
from the top here. So we want to figure out what exactly is going on. Let's go to our column here and let's start things all the way at the top. And we have our block settings and we have an overlay setting. So for our overlay, since I'm, if you guys notice, my book is going to be you know, 11 superfoods, superfood ingredients you've never heard of, right? So we're targeting the the fitness, health, uh, I guess you could even say vegan community, depending on how, how much you want to, um, what's the word, how much you want to, uh, you know, spread out in terms of niche, because there is some spread there. Um, for us, you know, I think the best route is just to slowly find different targets, and we'll do that through the Instagram process. But here I want to just take a look at some blocks. We, we, we need some convincing copy that's going to essentially tell people why they should be downloading it. At the end of the day, you're creating an ask here. So you have to make the product or, you know, intentionally, this is a product technically, um, you have to make it somewhat appealing. So it can't just be something like this and, you know, the text is all out of line, just doesn't even look good and expect it to work. It's really not going to work that way. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is there's something up here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe I made a mistake, but I'm going to just create a whole new block here. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to need a, you know, I'm going to be replacing that top block completely. Um, and the way I'm going to be doing that is... I'm going to be, let's go over here and let's click on this one. I think this one looks good. And we're going to move this to the top here. And what we're going to be doing is, is I, I honestly, I don't know what the deal is, but something is up with this block. I'm just going to be dragging and dropping some of this stuff here, right? So we have here, we have our button. Now this button, this download now button, I'm just going to copy it and paste it right there. And basically, guys, a quick quick little thing here is if you click on this button, you hit edit link, it just clicks on next step of the funnel, which makes it easier. If you're not using the funnel system that Funnelizer gives you and you're using a regular store, right, a regular web page, then what you would want to do is you want to want to um, connect the button to a pop-up. So you would create a pop-up here, right? And there's different kinds of pop-ups, but something like this, something that, you know, collects emails. Um, and you're going to connect the button to a pop-up because you can do that. Because if I hit edit link here, do you guys see? You, you get to select where the link is. So just be aware of that, guys. Um, but I'm going to delete this little button here that shows up. I'm going to center align this this image here, or this button, excuse me. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think about, you know, who is ideally, like I said, fitness people. Let me just drag and drop this text here just so I can get rid of this whole entire block because um, we are doing some customizations. So I'll get rid of this whole block. But I got to think, you know, it's going to be fitness-related people, people who are health conscious, who um, are going to be downloading this book. Maybe some people that want to get into the health and fitness world. So the best thing I could do is just go here to Pexels. Dot com and I could search something that's fitness related. So let me search health. Let me search health. That's a good idea. Um, and you know I could. This is this is something like this is a good idea. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna go with this image. I think this image looks pretty good. And I'm gonna do download the 1920 by 1280 size. So downloaded that and let's go over here to our block. If you guys notice, there's this little gear icon that says the word block. You want to hit that button. We're going to change the background. So we hit this little image. And we just drag and drop the image. It's just that simple. And the image is going to load up. And sometimes if it's bigger, it just needs some time, right? So it loaded up. And you can see here the image is the background. Now, I don't want it to look like this because this does not look clean, does not look professional. What we're going to do is we're going to change the background image repeat. And we're going to change this to cover whole area or no repeat, depending on what looks better. For me, cover whole area just looks better. Um, and we're going to add an overlay. I want it to look a little bit more professional. The background is going to be completely transparent. And I do want to add an overlay. So there's a button here that says overlay. And the overlay for us is going to be like a dark black. All right. So something like this. All right. So it does look a little bit cleaner now. It looks significantly cleaner. I think we can all agree on that. And 
for our main headline is people already see the image. And especially if I just view everything, let me go ahead and save my progress here. But if I just go ahead and uh, view everything in iPhone or phone mode, people can see what the image is. So what we need to do here is we're going to go back into desktop mode and we're going to just increase the size of the image, right? And we're going to break this down, the section down here. Instead of three columns, we're going to be moving it to two columns, okay? And I'm going to have my image here. Okay, and I could be making a mistake, but let's let's just keep saving here. Saving our progress. There we go. You see how this looks now? Now it looks a little bit cleaner. The image is bigger. The text is right here. And basically what you guys are seeing on screen is how it looks on, on a, a phone type view. So image and text. Now if you think about it, since we are going to be driving our traffic, and let me just check my OBS here. My webcam is uh, kind of um, uh, impeding on, on what you guys are going to be seeing on the screen. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. But if you look here to the right side of my screen, this this bot is going to get the job done. This bot is followandfollowbots.com. I am an affiliate, so I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box down below. Um, but, you know, this is what's going to drive us traffic. And if you notice with Instagram, majority of people who are using Instagram, like the overwhelming majority, are not on desktop. They're on mobile. So when they view it on mobile, this has a clean look, right? Typically, in a desktop point of view, you typically won't see an image on the left. It will be on the right, especially because we're English speakers. Uh, but either way, it works pretty kind, of, pretty well. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna keep it this way. Now, there are different ways to do this. Like you could switch to one column, and it will be somewhat similar. And then you'd make the image a little bit smaller, kind of like this, right? And when we do that, let me just save my changes here. When we do that. It looks somewhat similar. The only difference is it makes the image look smaller, um, and it looks the same on camera, but, you know, it really doesn't matter what kind of method you want to go with. So you could go with either one. I'm just going to stick to this for the sake of time, right? So we make this little image a little bit bigger just so people can see it better on screen and always be viewing it in mobile since we're going to be driving traffic in mobile. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting rid of this Right here, with all that extra space, I can kind of get it bigger. And what I'm going to do here is I have the chance to, let's go back to desktop view. I just want to make a quick experimental change real quick. There we go. That's about good. All right. So let's just make this a tiny bit smaller. All right. And we're going to, this extra heading thing here, we're going to get rid of. And this little separator, we're just going to drag right under this. And this, we're going to drag here. We're going to have a download now button right there. So if we save our progress and we view, this looks good on mobile. And on desktop view, looks decent. Now, instead of get 50 free design tips, that's, you know just basic stuff that was written down. We're going to change it to 11 or download now. So let's just write the actual title. 11 superfood ingredients. You never heard of. And what we're going to do is we're going to center align the text now since we've done that let me just make this tiny bit smaller um we're going to have more text i want to add more text here and i want to have a download now type text here so i'm going to say get your your final chance to download this book completely for free. And I'm not a copywriting expert, but it does the job for now. And we want this text to pop in color. So I can make this like a green and see what how it looks. That's good. Let's just go ahead and view it on mobile. And so there we go. So we have an image of the ebook. 
right? We have this little text here, and then we have this. Now, this is all out of whack, and it has to look more attractive, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, I want a different font, so let's go with... How's Tahoma look? Tahoma looks pretty decent. And let's view, let's just save this and view this in mobile. Let's just see how it looks on mobile. So on mobile, it's all out of whack here. So let's just go ahead and make this a little bit smaller on mobile. My fault, guys. The font. And even, let's not make this all capital, to be honest. Let's make it lowercase. And let's go with, uh, let's see here. If this is going, we can make this orange, right? Let's go with Hammersmith here. And let's make this orange text. And let's make this. Um, let's play with the colors here. So we have orange, we have uh, kind of like a, a bright orange. Let's go with green to kind of match the color that's there. And let's go with all Playfair display. And let's make it in bold. Right? You never heard of. 11 superfood ingredients you never heard of. I'm not really a fan of the way this looks, to be honest with you guys. You know? Honestly, uh, but you you guys will see that sometimes you need to just, you know, play around with the way it looks. And I'll just save my progress and kind of view things here. Um, but overall, I think for, make this all the same size. And then you never heard of. And what color green is this? This is what we need to do. 11 super food ingredients you never heard of. And this is this is Hammersmith 48. Hammersmith 48. So, yeah, let's not make this bold. Let's just italicize this. And let's just keep this. You know, let's keep the same color. Why not? All right. And let's make this separator version rates like this. Um, so what we need to do is let's just get rid of all this extra text here. All this crap. And we need to give people, like I said, benefits on why it's important to download this ebook. Why would it be beneficial for them? So let's go over here to block. And we're going to check out this divider. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Let's just play with it and let's see what we like here. You got a triangle one. And you can invert it, by the way. You could do a whole bunch of different things. So you could uh, invert the divider kind of like this. Um, you could do a whole bunch of different things. But uh, I'm definitely not going to add it at the top. Add it at the bottom. We have all different kinds here. We have a curve. We have a, let's see here, curve two, curve curve one, right? We have curve four, curve three. We have, let's see here, we have curve with opacity small. We have paper. We have a tilt. Uh, tilt is not really my thing at all. Tilt, we have another type of tilt. We have clouds. Clouds are not my thing either. We have wave brush, which actually looks kind of nice. I think this is the first time I saw this one. Um, not sure if they added it new or what, but it looks pretty nice. Um, uh, we have paper here. Paper looks okay. Uh, paint. Let's see what paint looks like. Paint looks pretty good. Grunge. We have grunge here. We have an arrow. Let's see what the arrow looks. I like the way the arrow looks. So now... We're going to add another block here, and now we're going to create supporting details to why they would want to download this. So we can we can do this a whole bunch of different ways, right? We can, you know, motivate them through a whole bunch of different ways. But the case here is, is that first thing we need to do is talk about the benefits, you know, what's included, what's in the, um, uh, you know, in the ebook, right? So we can... You know, we can take inspiration from other websites, um, but nonetheless, we'll get to it right now. So we can uh, click this, for example, and instead of access this download, let's just go ahead and get rid of all this money text, money related text right here. Um, and I think I made a mistake, so I'll undo and just get rid of this part. And the text will get your get your free copy okay 
Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to put a timer on it. So we're going to add a little block here. Okay. And I'm sorry, guys, but I'm going to add a little block. Let's click on this block. And I don't want the whole thing. I just want this second block here. And I want to move it up. And I want to move it up. So this block right here is going to help us out. We're going to get rid of this block, this corporate looking block. And let's see if we can extend this or we can make it a little smaller. This is good. All right. And with our process here, what we're going to do is instead of all this, you know, this button right here, let's just delete the button. And we're going to add a widget of a countdown timer. So let's see where the countdown timer is here. So I'll just drag the countdown timer. And you guys could see here now. All right. That was my mistake. But you guys could see here. We've added a countdown timer. So it says countdown to a date, countdown to a time, or countdown number. Uh, so numbers, the like for like, you know, if you have a certain amount of seats left, countdown time. So what we could do with time is we could... Just make it very simple. Let's say 13 minutes, 12 seconds left. So we'll start at 13 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, and when uh, when it says when the counter ends, what will it do? Let's simply, when it ends, take them to the next step of the funnel. And if you guys, you know, remember what the next step of the funnel actually was, right? If you remember what the next step of the funnel actually was, it was the opt-in. It was the pop-up, so this opt-in right here. So we'll work on that in just a minute, but let's make this slightly smaller. Let's go ahead and save and preview what we got going on here. And you could see here the way this looks, right? So for one, let's just create a little bit of extra spacing here. And let's save our progress. And instead of check out our features, all this text right here, and say this is a one-time limited free offer that will never be repeated okay and what we're gonna do is what this does is this creates scarcity now you can change up the text different ways and good copywriters what, what they'll do is they're actually going to um, they're going to you know, test different, you know, the words, the verbiage, the things like that. So just be aware of that. Um, and let's go with full width here. And let's align this to be left because we want to bring it in closer. And let's align this to be right, right alignment. And then we'll add, if we need to, if it's necessary, add spacing in between. So just drag it out kind of like this. Just like that, right? So if you look here, it looks pretty clean. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's preview here what's going on. So you have a timer, okay? You have some text, but I want to bring more attention to the scarcity feature. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to create this and turn this into a red or an orange color text. Maybe even orange. That's good because the orange is going to match the download now buttons, right? And we could even make, if we want, we can make this orange. And like I said, you're going to have to play with everything, test it. You know, you, you know, not, not everything is going to be perfect right out the gate. If you guys notice, yes, I took a template, but I changed it up. I, I made some changes to it. So let's go ahead and preview this in mobile. Looks pretty decent in mobile view. Um, now, of course, we could change things. But uh, for mobile, I mean, I'm not really a fan of the way this looks, right? Like if I center this here, and if I center this here, that will look better. And let me just stay and save here. But obviously, any change that happens on mobile will happen on desktop. But this is good. I'll keep this. Um, and let's go down here. And instead of, you know, scale, whatever, let's see what this ebook includes, right? And instead of it being like layered like this, let's go ahead and drag it. And, you know, when I change the layering or something like that, that's not going to make a huge difference to conversion rates, at least not that I know of. Um, but what it will do is 
you know, just make it look a little bit cleaner. And that's what we're trying to do. So I'll change up the colors. Even though I know it's slight, guys, I'm just changing up the colors to these principles here. Right? Remember, everything is all visual. Okay? All Everything is visual. So right here. And instead of this button that says grant me access now, we're going to go ahead and copy this button as a widget. And we're just simply going to drag it because it's already copied, right? And it's when we do drag it, guys, it's going to cap carry the same information, right? And um, instead of a 30-day money-back guarantee, what we're going to, because obviously they're not paying for anything, is um, no tricks, no scams, yours completely free. Now, I'll say this, is that... Um, sometimes text like this will decrease your conversion rate. You just got to test it. And, and there's so many different things that you can test with a, a business like this. But, you know, even though it's a simple landing page, there are people that I personally know who will spend years configuring the best landing page for their audience. And, uh, it's not easy. It's not an easy task, but you know, it is what it is. So we're going to have some text here that matches. Notice how the font is the same. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have that now, um, we're going to talk about the benefits. Now let's think of logically, why would somebody want to, to download an ebook like this? Well, I could do some basic research, but let's just search greenify greenify anyways. What a product like this will do is it will create inspiration for I essentially the, the idea of what I'm trying to sell. So for me, right. It's kind of common knowledge that somebody who's interested in this ebook would typically be interested in something like this also. Now, it's not a guarantee, but it is, you know, something that's inspiration. I'm going to be using it as inspiration to guide me through the process. So these benefits right here, literally, I can copy and paste the same benefits over, right? Um, and you know, it will be relatively the same and you guys will see this right now. So let's go ahead and go through this. And by the way, there's, there's certain numbers that matter in psychology and in business. Notice how a company, multi-million dollar, maybe even billion dollar company, Organifi, okay. Um, definitely in the hundreds of millions, at least has, have six, uh, what's it called? Promoting features here. Notice when I added the block, same thing, six promoting features. It's because you know, companies like Funnelizer and things like that, inherently, they know what works and what doesn't, right? So when you change too many things, it's not going to be pretty, but, you know, things like this, we should keep uh, keep track of, right? So highly nutritious, a clinical dose of ashwagandha helps rejuvenate skin, delicious taste, helps decrease cortisol, save time. So we could, we could grab a few of these here. The first one we could do is, uh, like, for example, save time. I could, I could write here a principle is save time by learning what your body needs. Because if, if somebody's reading the ebook and I just write save time, what does that even mean, save time? It doesn't make sense, right? And so I could write a little bit of text here and that says, you know, nobody wants to waste their valuable time figuring out which ingredients are considered superfoods. We lay them out here for you. We lay out, we lay out eleven. Let me fix that. Eleven of the most highly potent ingredients there are. There are. So you guys see how I'm editing the text as I'm writing. You know, I'm not a genius here, obviously, as you guys can see. Um, but, you know, you can always come back and fix some things. So since we have saved time and all this, I want to edit the icon. And we'll look for like a clock or something. And honestly, I'm thinking about, you know, 
just doing this, okay? So save time, highly nutritious. I could write that here also. So I could write highly nutritious ingredients or superfoods rather. Let's just write superfoods because ingredient sounds, you know, it sounds casual. It sounds, you know, you guys know what I mean. Highly nutritious superfoods, right? And we'll write some text about that. Uh, they aren't called superfoods for any random reason. They are superfoods because they create a profound effect mind on your mind and body nutrition is key right and they aren't called superfoods not a superfood super they are not so once again grammar is not my strong suit but you guys see I'm getting this done um, let's see here. A clinical dose of ashwagandha helps decrease cortisol. So what's another principle that's similar to helps decrease cortisol? Uh, if we look through the ebook and there's a whole bunch of different things that we have in the ebook here, let's just view the ebook as it pops up. Save time by learning what your body needs. Highly nutritious superfoods. Let's go ahead and change the icon here uh, while this loads up. Let's see here. There are many mystery ingredients. So licorice root, diabetes, all this. All right. Improve overall health. Improve overall health. And let's write diabetes, cortisol. What else? Um, weight loss or, uh, Let's say reduce, reducing diabetes, cortisol, and blood pressure, and blood pressure maintenance. Let's write that. Maintenance is necessary. Not is necessary. That doesn't make sense. Is possible. That's better. Is possible with is possible with this is possible. Let's just leave it at is possible. All right. Improve overall. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and save the progress here, and uh, helps decrease cortisol. Rejuvenate skin. Let's see. 11 total ingredients. We expose 11 total rare ingredients that you probably never heard of. All right. Drag this a little bit down here. Drag this down just about an inch uh, or millimeter pixel. And uh, easy and fast read. We, we said that. Um, feel younger and healthier, right? 
That's one thing that a lot of people want to eat, do. And get leaner and better. So feel younger and healthier, get leaner and better. And what we'll do here is we'll make a change to some of the text. So when it says get younger and healthier, we'll just say um, these superfoods have chemical compounds that are proven to keep you young keep you young comma with anti aging benefits right getting get leaner and better um, superfoods exposed in this ebook are going to help you burn fat naturally all right so burn fat naturally and keep you feeling rejuvenated i don't know if i spelt that wrong but let's go ahead and check so let me check that on google rejuvenated clearly it did spell it wrong and rejuvenated there we go so now we have some of our product benefits okay and we have them here now let's go ahead and do some changing to the icon so let's edit the icon here and so we have get leaner and better let's see if there's something like a muscle icon or a body let's see what we got here b o d y so we'll use this electric one electric bolt here Feel younger and healthier. Let's use the. Uh, there's like a speedometer. Let's use that one. Uh, eleven total ingredients. So with eleven total ingredients, I mean, there's a lot of things we could use for that potential one. Um, it doesn't really matter though. Uh, maybe I could type in fruit here. Uh, maybe apple. No, apple doesn't look good. That's like the company. Uh, let's put a star. That's good. Um, overall, improve health. And let's change that one to... Let's see what we got here. This little blood icon. So, overall, pretty decent, right? And so, we have to replicate this... Uh, whatever you want to call it here. This, this timer, this countdown timer, right here. Okay? Download. Let's just change some of the copy here. Download now. Okay. And let's get rid of this. And let's let's put this on the bottom. And let's just give it a little bit of a spacer. We can get rid of this footer block because it's not necessary. And there we go. That's it. And what this will do is when somebody clicks on it. So let's just click on on the funnel here. What what will happen is when somebody clicks on it, it will take them to this little opt-in, right? And so the opt-in, instead of, you know, all this text here, we're literally just going to copy and paste some of the text here. So get your free copy. We're going to copy this. Uh, um, and 11 superfood ingredients, we're going to copy that. And the image, we're going to copy that. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to go over here to funnel. We're going to hit the opt-in button. And we're going to change this text. So for me, I already have the widgets copied. So I'm going to grab the image, and it will paste here, and I'm going to make it a lot smaller, right? So I got it kind of like this, and we're going to, instead of fill in the form and all this, we're going to have 11 superfood ingredients, and here we're going to have tell us where to send it, or to where to send your free copy boom just like that right and we have the name and the email now the name is not necessary um so let's just get rid of it all we need is their email that's it we need the email list um and that's it 
Okay, that's it. Uh, if we go over here, let's just save our progress once again. And let's jump over here to the funnel. And step three, the download page. Instead of all this, we're going to edit the image or let's just copy our uh, saved image, rather. And we're going to get rid of this image. And we're going to just decrease the size of this image once again. So for the image, I want to make the image smaller. Okay. And instead of, let's just make it, you know, right there in the middle. And let's just get a spacer between there. Because it's a little too cramped up. Um, and instead of download the PDF book, we're going to just delete this button right here completely. Let's just delete this whole section. Okay. And it's going to say, thank you. Click to download below. Instead of click to download, we're going to say, go check your email inbox okay now um we're there's gonna be some people invariably there's nothing we can change here i'm gonna change this background but as i'm speaking there's gonna be some people who obviously don't enter their right email and so that we don't lose them we're gonna give them a button here so let's just select a button and let's go here and select a button where's the button the button is up here and we're going to give them the option to head back to stage uh, to option number two where they can enter their email. So uh, we're going to here type in change uh, email address. Right. And what this will do is this will give them the option to go back to the opt in. OK, so let's go ahead and hit save and let's go ahead and preview this and let's click on the button. And there we go. It takes us back here. Does that make sense? So once they type in their email, they'll be able to be taken here. So overall, looks great. Very, very satisfied with it. Let's just go through the funnel one more time. And, and just to explain everything, guys, is that people are going to come here to this funnel. Okay, very basic funnel, but it gets a job done, right? They're going to come here to this funnel. They're going to type in. They're going to hit the download button. The download button is going to take them to this opt-in, right? Instantaneously. It just happens. They enter their their stuff and it will take them to uh, the last step, which is the download now. And so, if you guys want to see this live, let's just go into um, the website preview, or right, let me go to the first page. Uh, and you guys here change here. I could type in my email. Let's just say it's hello at gmail.com and hit download now. And there it says thank you. Check your email inbox, and it will get sent to you. Now, the way this will work is you have to kind of set this up in a way where once somebody enters their email, you have to uh, set up a, a uh, email marketing campaign. So there's a few of them out there, and they're very, very easy to create. But, um, you know, I'm not going to go over that in, in this video, obviously. But you want to uh, just go over here to uh, Funnel Settings, okay? And you want to jump into Applications, Okay, and you want to hit add application. Now, there's a whole bunch. You can MailChimp, MailerLite, MooSend. If you don't want to do all this, all this stuff right here, then you could on page three uh, change the um, instead of like go check your inbox, you can change it to um, uh, download now, download here, right? And you would upload the file to the files on the computer. But um, I personally would go the email route because. It makes the job easier. If you guys need, I'll make that a separate episode. I think it would be better if I did. I don't want to cram too much stuff in into this one episode. I think we've been recording for over an hour. So uh, without further ado, guys, um, make sure you like the video. Be back for episode number two, number three, and so on uh, as we continue to build this out right here, okay? We're going to be driving traffic in our next few episodes. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set that up and how to actually drive the traffic. And then finally, in the very last video, I'll just literally take all this and I'll compile it into one video and show you guys the whole process, all right?